Hi everyone. So this is a quick tutorial and I just had to share it with you now. How to use CrocoBlock or JetWoo Builder with Elementor to build yourself a custom, uh, you know, WooCommerce, uh, to build yourself custom WooCommerce pages. It can be confusing, but it's very easy once you know the steps exactly how to do it. I'm just going to share my screen now. So I'm going to go to dashboard. So you have installed WooCommerce, you have purchased uh, Jet Woo Builder or, you know, the whole Croco block, whatever suite. So what you need to do, the steps, I made also a text, a, a blog about it. So if you want to read it, you can do that. How to use Croco Blog WooCommerce Builder function. Yes. So the steps are very simple. If I update it, I put also print screens. You need to make your templates. First, we start with making our templates in CrocoBlock. So you go here, you go to CrocoBlock and here you have theme builder. No, sorry, WooPage Builder. You go there. And here I just made the cart new, like an example. Um, let's click all those things that are not necessary. Yes. So what you need is you want to build now your templates. Add new template. These are the options you have. You can make a single, which is like a, the products, um, a single archive item. Here you have a list of your products uh, or services, a category item, uh, shop. If you want to have like your storefront, hmm? cart, there's no ready-made templates because those are the basic WooCommerce you know, layout. Uh, but you can have a cart, you can have the checkout, a thank you page and my account. Uh, since I have made a demo card, let's make a, a checkout. Okay, set, set template name. Uh, you put like a checkout new, like, yeah. Uh, create template. So you create your template. And it takes you to the template. So you, and you build it as you like it. Um, where is it? Yes. So, so here it is. You see, I guide you through the process. You select what you want to do. And uh, here, yes, here you need to go. We are doing the checkout. So we need to find the checkout element. <clears throat> now we have the scrolling, the loading ever, never ending loading element. Or I'm just going to reload it. Mm. I'm going to put also my website. So this is my website. Go and visit it uh, for the blog and other tutorials. <clears throat> so yes, now we have the check checkout. So from here, you can find the checkout coupon form, checkout login form, checkout payment, checkout order review. You can add those things here, for instance. And here you have an example how you want your checkout to look like and uh, you have some customized options here color here what is it the, the, ah, the title here the the product the the text the color typography table cells uh what can you do i think you can change the background also i'm just going to put random colors to see yeah you see you can do those things you can change them and customize them to fit your uh, website's colors um <laughs> gonna leave it like that anyway um so once you have made that you publish it and you can save it as a template i'm gonna name it again card no you what is the main name check out you oh, something like that oh. once you have installed uh, WooCommerce, you have the checkout page ready-made. I'm going to close this now. We don't need anything else. Publish. So it's published. It's live. Uh, hooray, your Jet Woo checkout uh, template is live. Hmm? That's good news. Now let's go back, go back, exit to dashboard. Uh, and just I want to double check on the pages. There should be the checkout there. I'm going to just search for it. Checkout. Yes, you have the checkout draft. Let's make it quick edit draft published. 
I don't have anything to sell yet. I'm just, you know, testing, messing around. So I have my checkout page. Okay. Now, and like, like that, you will have also, uh, once you install WooCommerce, it, it automatically puts all the pages uh, that you need. The cart, the checkout, what should be here? Log checkout, uh, or did I delete it? I must have deleted it also. You know, I delete a lot of things. Or is it on draft? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, my shopping cart basket. I'm going to make this also published. So you have all your the, the standard pages. Now, what you need to do. So first you, you build your layout and uh, then what you do, you go to WooCommerce, you go here and you go to settings. And you go to Jet Builder over here. Kind of get rid of that element or data updater. And here you have enable custom shop page. You see, you have custom shop page, shop template. For here, if you have made something with a builder, you will have it here. A uh, single product. No, uh, if I go to cart, yes, enable custom. Here you see, I have my cart, I have made a cart. Uh, before enable custom checkout and here I have my checkout new uh, so and similarly you can have the thank you page and my custom account all those things and this is how you build uh, your custom pages uh, your custom Google commerce pages with crocoblock Google builder yes so that was it that was a very short tutorial uh, I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments if you have more questions and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.